really mad that because you know it is mad because this okay so first of all i'm gonna just straight off the back i'm in favor of packages like productized kind of you know starter packages i'm like i think it's a really for me it's an easy way to calculate a project and get um get quotes out quickly like if you've got a way of of putting together something fairly fairly simply and i've done yeah like bundles, I suppose, or productized packages, or whatever you want to call them, similar to kind of, like I've, I've done that and I in the past. Um, but this, this is, this is weird because this is kind of like, just if you think about the, the, the enterprise stuff that I, I, I got frustrated with, that they're providing, you know, basic, they're providing like enhanced capabilities and developer capabilities to enterprise level developers who are not there based off not always are there based off of skill set but sometimes enterprise agencies are just leg they're not legacy they're they're other types of agencies that happened to now you know sell webflow service services so like to become an enterprise level developer it's about who you're working for or the client that you've got it's not about your skill set which i think is quite unfair and then this now looks like a Fiverr package. So it's like they're splitting the whole skill set to as cheap as chips, Fiverr style, or absolute, you know, 80 to 100 grand minimum entry projects that are for big agencies. And that that's mental because it's like... it. it I don't know, what would you call that? The squeezed developer in the middle or the squeezed designer in the middle? Because like, I haven't seen um, as much thought from Webflow going into the mid-range freelancer agency. You know, there's a lot of really cool benefits for enterprise. That I don't know, man, that's left a bad taste in my mouth. Like, I'm this is a pretty raw reaction, but that's fucking bullshit. <laughs> you know? 